Okay, so this is a video game review for Day of the Tentacle for the PC. Uh, it is a classic point-and-click adventure game from LucasArts uh, and was released in about 1993. Now, um, the the story follows two tentacles, Purple Tentacle uh, here and Green Tentacle as well. And Purple Tentacle one day drinks some contaminated waste and becomes evil and you know threatens to take over the world. Um, what happens next is your main characters, uh, Levan, uh, Hoagie, and Bernard, get a message from a hamster uh, from Green Tentacle, saying that they've been captured by uh, I think it's the, the the Professor Edison, and that they need um, uh, he needs your help. So you go up to this big motel uh, slash mansion where there's a kind of uh, Bernard uh, happens upon the Professor's laboratory. And meanwhile, the other two characters, Hoagley and Laverne, are told by the professor he's only taken them <coughs> captured, uh, captive because the um, purple tentacle is so dangerous. But Bernard unwittingly sort of releases both of them and therefore starts the chain reaction of events which will lead to <coughs> your eventual uh, sort of the story, basically, which is to prevent purple tentacle from taking over the world. Now... As you can uh, see from the videos, uh, Professor Edison is pretty uh, pretty pissed about that. So what he does is he sends um, he sends the three uh, three people through time in his time machine. Um, he se uh, he sends Hoagie uh, back two hundred years. He sends Laverne forward two hundred years, and or at least he. He kind of tries to uh, he tries to send send them to the point where they can stop him drinking the contaminated waste, but the problem is that diamond that you see uh, breaks and they get stuck there um, until they can work out the puzzles to kind of re replace that diamond. Um, and as you can see from the the art style, it's just uh, even though it's 1993, it just looks uh, I think it looks really great. And even though it's a 2D game, uh, there's lots of good humor in it, like this. Uh, the sort of uh, stuff that happens to kind of show the, the progression of, you know, um, uh, Purple Tentacle's sort of reign of terror, if you like. And the scum system, as you you may have seen on, on other games, such as most famously sort of Monkey Island and uh, sort of Maniac Mansion or something, uh, you can actually play that or something in the, uh, like a sort of mini game within, within this game on someone's computer. Um, but the whole sort of system of, uh, you've got nine options like uh, pick up, push, pull, use, talk to, look at, um, and some other ones. Um, you know, it works great, and as you can see here, um, Hoagie is back 200 years, but he's basically in the same building. Uh, and so everything is familiar. I really like that about this game, because you know, unlike other games where you, you know, you play for an hour or so, you come back to it, <coughs> you'll actually be a lot more familiar with the la layout of the building. Whether you're using Bernard, who's in the present, Hoagie, who's in the uh, the past 200 years with sort of George Washington time, or uh, Laverne, who's in the future where the tentacles are in. Now, this is my one problem. This is a puzzle that relies a man on a manual. And if you don't have the manual, then the combinations are incredibly difficult. Fortunately, I did find a website which had uh, all the different combinations, so I'll put that in the link. But that is my one gripe about this game. Game Puzzle games shouldn't have uh, used ones which require a manual, which, you know, if it's an out-of-date game or, you know, you just happen to lose it, like like we all do, then, um, you know, that's a, that's a flaw. But otherwise, uh, this is... I mean, the humour in this game is just absolutely great. Uh... Just the the art style, I think, is just fantastic. The the fact that it's got um, text, I know it's like more the fact that they couldn't have voice acting for every single thing, but you know, it's it's um, like a lot of LucasArts games. It's friendly to um, uh, to people with sort of um, you know, hearing sort of um, uh, disabilities and things. Um, so I mean, you know, all that sort of stuff's great. Is um, uh, the thing I like about it over Monkey Island is the fact that the puzzles are actually quite uh if they're, they're still challenging but you can you can do it you're only uh given so many items and you can pass them through time as well which is quite a good one so there there is definitely a level of challenge I don't think that just picking this up or you'll be done in sort of 10 minutes but it's it's a it's a kind of challenge that is sort of uh doable if that's the right word um 
And as I said before, the the um, humour in this game is uh, is great. It's, um, talking to people like George Washington and stuff, and, and having people like John Hancock freezing to death because the uh, they just need one wood, uh, one piece of wood on the fire, and uh, you know there's just uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on, and it's I just love the familiar setting of the 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 past, the future, and the thing because even though they're you know set in different time zones, that you know the the layout of the building is roughly roughly the same and so it's just uh, it just feels like a really well well thought out game um and yeah i just don't have uh you know many bad things to say it's just it's not it's not impossibly difficult it's a lot of fun um it'll it'll last you quite a while and it's got a really good funny story so i mean i i can't really think of too many other points you can save at any point you can uh, the dialogue and even the voice acting in some parts, if you get the that version, is is just really well done. So I mean, uh, I can't think of too many other things to say. So this really is a classic of point and click adventure game, and I give it eight out of ten. So that's me.